Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Discronia Chronos Alternate Overview. Okay, first of all, we have to address some stuff. <laughs> the developers, my dearest, where's my PR package that you promised? I'm not even mentioning the early access game code. Someone really don't have fucked up, like I'm not sure what really went wrong. It's like a biggest betrayal anime meme all over, but don't worry, I'm good. Anyhow, welcome to the third installment of this series. A lot of people in the community know me from Chronos Universe since I've done Tokyo and all videos playthroughs. I'm very much a fan of what those developers put out nowadays and it feels kinda unreal we're already in the third game's installment. And I would have to check my sources but I'm pretty sure that no other studio have done it so far quest-wise. So that's very much something to be proud of and let's start a new 50 part series. <laughs> so this Kronia is gonna be an anime adventure stealth simulator game where in the artificial paradise Astrum Close we'll have to discover the mystery of the founder's death in the city that crimes altogether should not be even existing there as detectives to get to the bottom of this case. First things first, the project is split into three episodes which I'm pretty much fine with because it's a special situation where Kronos games tend to be insanely long and if you don't play them constantly it's easy to forget what have happened. I have no info how long the episodes will last but at least the playthrough won't last a half year so that's cool with me. The concept reminds me of the film that I can't remember but essentially you would have a futuristic city where the police or the government are controlling people's minds and control their dreams or thoughts to see who's more likely to cause a crime in the near future. Also I see some sprinkles of Danganronpan, the anime that I used to watch. All in all, we didn't really have a detective type of game so far, so it's definitely something fresh coming up to the store. Because I didn't manage to play any early gameplay, I'm not really sure what to expect besides to have a full-on locomotion, which I'm very happy about. It's gonna finally feel like it's a game. The past two projects were visual novels specific, so now the feeling should be totally different and I'm pretty excited to jump back into the Chronos universe that my channel is very much known for despite the betrayal of the developers i'm obviously joking it's not that serious but <laughs> let's just finally jump into it the trail of footsteps scattered and then faded entirely okay about the same time i can actually move <laughs> I can't even remember how I ended up getting lost in here. My dearest always does some cool introductions. <laughs> Huh. I don't know why, but it gives me such a like Persona 2 vibes. What's happening? You tell me. Is Astrum clothes being shelled from the outside? Why? The graphics are a little bit crazy, but at the same time, when I move my head, something's like twitching. It's not necessarily a framescape, it's like... 
it's not completely smooth. Maybe it's just too intense. <laughs> Okay, smartass. Huh? Can you explain me who are you in the first place? Who? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Some items can be thrown after picking them up. Yeah. I guess this is an action game now. <laughs> So there are still transitions between the dialogue and protecting the city has been destroyed. It all feels like a bad dream. Help, watch out. Hey, what's wrong? Hell. Hmm? Same old hell. Falling asleep during your test? Seriously? Can I put up like the dialogues because it's, they seem kinda in the distance, not necessarily. Okay. Test. Still half asleep? You're in the middle of your final aptitude test, man. Anyway, I'm gonna see how everyone's doing in augmented dreaming. It's a supervisor's job to protect AD. The collective dream all the residents experience. Once you're a supervisor, Hal, that's what you'll be doing on a daily basis. Here. This is your trainee badge. The music. <laughs> it's like Persona vibes and just all those kind of Japanese games that I'm very close with are coming back in like some kind of shape or form. <laughs> You'll be able to access AD with that. Ready? Let's go. In public areas, hold A on the right controller to connect to augmented dreaming using your bureau issued badge. Wow. Looks like you can access AD just fine. Take a look around and see how the residents are doing while you're here. But where are they? <laughs> That's so... It's a lot, but... In a good way. See those glowing fish? Each of them represents a dreaming resident's consciousness. The human-shaped ones are conscious enough to speak to. I'm guessing you haven't talked to many ordinary humans since the experiment. Go on. I'll wait here, okay? It also feels like 
an MMO of some sort, like the vibe of just going around places and talking with people. Maybe that's what Zenith should have been in the first place. Yeah, something's going on with the performance, like it's definitely pushing the quest to the mids. <laughs> Wake up. Okay. I wonder if we have like a database or just quest logs. I guess maybe not for now. How did it go? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing too intense, right? A supervisor's job is to get things under control when something goes wrong in AD. I heard they also used to investigate crimes back before AD was introduced. So there are like layers. A real world and this augmented one. The city's totally protected by AD these days. So the crime rate is just 0.001%. For the last 30 years, there hasn't even been any variant persecution here in the city. With the system protecting it, this place really is a dream world. Anyway, let's get your training started. It's time we did some counseling in AD. I'll give you a quick run through first, okay? Sure. We access Kairos, the medical nano machines inside all the residents. Oh, <laughs> invasive. Using our tethering tools. The only people who aren't Kairos hosts are people like me who are incompatible. And variants. The nano machines just don't work right with you guys. Thanks to Kairos, the residents can take part in one collective, idyllic dream. In the dream, residents share all their experiences. That's why it's impossible to commit crimes here in the city. I see. The system immediately removes residents who need attention to prevent mental contamination. <laughs> which explains why some residents appear glitched out. Okay, time to start counseling. After this, you'll officially be a supervisor. I'll show you how it's done, so pay attention. What's going on? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Everything turned red. <sighs> Let's split up and see what the deal is. There sure is a lot of loading screens, like I'm cutting up the footage because that's what I do nowadays, but... Huh? Is someone there? Oh my god. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> Holy shit. The professor died. He was killed? We're in big trouble. The founder of the city just died. And your face does not <laughs> mimic that. <laughs> we gotta move quick. I'm gonna head to the bureau. Look, training is over. Head back and wait for your results, okay? <sighs> Head back. I can't believe there was a murder here in the city. Eeyore. Okay, well, I stop here and we'll continue pretty much the next day after because that's what I have to do anyways, it's my duty. <laughs> so far I love the vibe, the story 
seems to be very interesting like this time around it seems like it's more of a game mixed in with visual novels so pretty much what i've been waiting for the whole time from my dearest something that feels interactive and engaging that you're essentially part of the story and just what's going on overall there are some performance issues maybe because of this whole city environment like it seems to be too much I'll see maybe in some smaller rooms, it's gonna be fine. Love the art style, love the graphics, seems like everything was just upgraded. At the same time, there's more poses and loading screens going on. But besides that, I don't have any notes. I'm very excited to do the playthrough. See you most likely in the near future.